Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Tuesday, May 14th, 2013. We'll be looking at gold and the U.S. dollar today. And again, I showed you guys, um, it was last week, about a week ago, I showed you how gold has been, uh, the sell-off or the breakdown in gold has been uh, timing well with the uh, breakdown in stocks. So again, it's important to be watching this right now. Uh, with gold right now, you see that we've, we've been kind of just moving lower here. And at the same time, uh, we've not really seen anything massive happen on a sell-off in uh equities and that, that's fine but there's a bigger move fixing to happen here and I want to bring your attention to it right here uh, on the gold chart you can see uh, that you are setting up a little formation here that's either going to do one or two things and it's going to do it real quick it's either going to be a move here or a move here and either one of those is going to see an increase in volatility meaning that one candlestick will, uh, will be higher or bigger than the one you're seeing right now the small candlesticks uh, so this is important it's something that uh, we've seen before and something that you should learn to watch for. Typically when you have a pullback like this, you'll get a hammer candlestick formation that'll mark a bottom then you look for confirmation the next day. You should look for a higher high than this one and a higher low and that would be an entry opportunity on the long side. So that's not what happened here because you're in an overall downtrain, you're in weakness in gold. Uh, you're seeing that something else is happening starting to break down and so you have the lower day here starting to come down and test this low here and then you have another one setting up even lower close and support and so on. All this showing a very bearish sign, but it could be a fake. You, you haven't actually taken out this low point here, and so this is not something I can say, well, this is definitely going to happen. Uh, but I'll show you why I believe it's going to break to the downside here. Uh, main thing to point out, again, if you're not familiar with it, uh, if you look at the overall trend of gold, you can see it's obviously down, lower series of highs, lower series of lows. And we've had some different formations in here, some consolidation periods, support, and so on. But when you actually look at the chart, you will find that this is kind of normal. What we're seeing here is a pretty normal pattern. You have a hammer candlestick formation right here. You have this uh, sell off here, hammer candlestick formation, like you're going to bottom there and bounce off of that. And probably bulls were thinking that maybe that would be a breakout point to the upside or something. And you'll see what happened the following day. No confirmation. You start to come down and test that level again. Then the day following, you get that, that consolidation. It's a very small candlestick formation showing indecision by traders. And then you get the break to the downside and you'll notice a candlestick formation larger than you'd seen in the previous. It's volatility increasing and exploding to the downside there. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for happening again here. And, and again, if we look at the dollar, you'll get confirmation of that. But the main thing is as this starts to explode to the downside or break to the downside, uh, you'll likely see uh, equities do the same thing and sort of follow. So keep an eye on this very close. Okay, now we're looking at the UUP, the U.S. Bullish Dollar Index Fund. And this is basically betting on the dollar here uh, getting stronger and then if the dollar became of greater value than, of course, uh, in correlation, gold would begin to go lower, right? That would make sense. And so seeing this move here uh, in gold while, I mean, and in the dollar while gold is going the opposite direction makes a lot of sense to us. However, if we look at the gold chart, we can get some kind of a signal or confirmation from on the, uh, I'm sorry, if we look at the dollar chart, we can get confirmation on the gold chart. So you can see here that we have this high close here or the high point here, 2269, and now we've actually broken above that. So it's a breakout scenario on the dollar. And that tells us to look for the dollar to continue to move higher. If we look at the longer term chart, we can see we have clear sailing, in fact, uh, for a good di distance higher. And that would, again, be bearish for gold. Looking now at the long term dollar chart, you can see that you have uh, the, the resistance that coming down here, bounced up here, hit the 2340 area. I'm jump, pull away from that, come up here again, getting close to it, pull away from it, and now we're moving that way again. I think the 2350 is the next area of resistance. Uh, we'll see if we can break out of that or not. but. Uh, that's a good distance from where we're at right now. So we have a good move to the upside happening uh, in the dollar. And then we also would expect to see a good move uh, in, uh, inversely uh, in gold to the downside. If you've not been to the free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right here. It's 100% free and all we ask in return, please refer a friend. As always, those charts that I've shown you and as well as any of the others that we've kept track for you at perfectstockalert.com, there's 19 of them. Uh, the short term and long term, you can find them right here under the market section. The market charts right there. Those are my charts with my annotations on them and they're updated every single night. You'll also be able to find the fundamental tutorial school here, all videos teaching you all kinds of concepts here as well as the technical side. Okay, God bless, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.